Let's have a look at the layout and how we edit the layout. So the first thing to notice over and above, over and above our B and G, um, we don't have our data panel on the right hand side. We have actually have an option for up to four different data items here and I'm going to show you how to change those. So if we go to the top right hand corner our menu button, um, press our menu button and go down to settings. What I want to do is actually change, customize uh, the information that I'm getting on the screen. So I've just hit page setups, edit data overlays and as you can see there we've got add and done. I've got UTC time here, um, I've got um, apparent wind angle, apparent wind speed. Let's have a look at changing that to true wind speed. So if I press and hop, press basically press that, hit edit, and then I've got all my options in terms of what I want to have on there. Um, that's through navigation. Obviously step, step through, see what you want on there. I'm going to go back, I'm going to find wind, and I'm going to change that bottom one to true wind speed, which is there. Um, I don't like it right there, it doesn't look neat, does it? So I'm going to move that around the screen. So I'm going to tap that, move it to wherever I want. Uh, that's quite nice under there, isn't it? So that's a good spot. Let's just hit done. Yeah, so that's now my new settings. And you see I got depth up the top there. If I want to move that, I'll go back, back into page settings, edit data overlays. I can now tap that one and move it wherever makes sense for me. So really what we're looking at here is we're looking at the key piece of information that we need at the time. And obviously that's your choice in terms of what you set up uh, for those data bars. The other thing you would have seen there as well, when you tap it, um, you can change the size of it, which is quite nice. Extra large, if depth is really important to you. And we'll move that up here. So that's the first key feature of uh, the, the Raymarine and it's uh, Lighthouse version 4 is what we're using.